Ready to fight. Ready. Good. All right, so here is the Ultimate Fighter veteran, now UFC middleweight staple, Uriah Primetime Hall. Let's see how he approaches the early portions of this round. Said he was going to focus a lot on his kicking game here tonight, attacking the body and the legs of the opposition. And the strike lands clean. Brunson gets caught by the inside leg kick, a few more, and that'll leave him up. All right, so the wrestler engages in the clinch here, and he does so very early in the fight against the kickboxer. He told us in the fighter meeting he's not worried about bonus money. He is trying to win, and this is certainly on that path. Ultimately, it's about getting the W. Getting this guy into the clinch allows for you to start working towards winning the fight. One thing you got to be aware of, though, is those knees and elbows that come back in your direction from this high-level kickboxer. Beautiful strike at distance there from Uriah Hall. He has really rounded out his striking game. A lot of different weapons coming your way, and he landed that one flush, DC. Brunson's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Able to land, but barely with that front kick. Nice counter left there. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping. He's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Clinch work. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Hall's cut above the eye. Needed the body here inside control. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows it. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Under two minutes to go. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Side control now, there's that knee to the body. Brunson's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Gets hit with a kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, big punch land. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Blocked by Brunson. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, and another leg kick lands, and I assure you, there is no microphone on those shorts. That is flesh on flesh, bone on bone. Another debilitating strike to the leg. Big shots being landed on both sides here. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Beautiful hands on this plate. Another punch land. Take down defense holds up. Oh, massive knee to the head. And now 
Oh, some separation. What a oh. start. Stop, stop, stop. All right, there's the end of the round. Hall's got a nasty cut above the eye. Cutman has his work to do here in advance of round five. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. He appeared to open up a significant cut on his opponent's forehead with one of those strikes. A lot of blood comes from the cut on the forehead. He did exactly what he needed to do to land a strike that would open up a cut on the forehead. Now that he's got the target, he has got to continue to go there. He's got to continue to Ready land fight. in that spot Ready. to try to get his opponent out of there. Of course, his corner imploring him to be more sound defensively. The cut man appeared to do a pretty good job. Let's see how this next round plays out. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Straight to the body by Hall. Brunson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice kick landed there by Hall. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Circling to his right. Oh! 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 Oh, big left hand! Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Oh, nice level change. All right, he's in a half-guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half-guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half-guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. All right, side control now. Nice transition. Let's get them out here. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Oh. Oh, now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Brunson. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take you down very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They've worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and it's showing right now. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Brunson's got him in a crucifix now. Going to go to work from the top. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, looked like an elbow there from the top by Brunson. He's got to start throwing down. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Brunson. Less than a minute to go in the round. Paul getting work from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. 
In the half guard. Brunson's back in full mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Well, ground and pound 101, and now you start to see some swelling appear. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen seconds to go. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Brunson. Two rounds in the books. Wow, what a performance in that round. I'm no judge. I'm not sure a 10 8's even enough. Total dominance and nearly got the finish. Total dominance. Almost got the finish. Was able to hurt his opponent on multiple occasions. Didn't put him down now. He just hurt him. But maybe, just maybe, he will find the shot that will put him down once and for all. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't You're know what fight. they're supposed to do Three. to try to change the way that this fight is going. Third round underway. Great timing on that double leg. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Hall. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. This is a terrible position. Oh, the ground and pound is there. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Hard ground strike there, and that one opened up a cut. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. He's got to be careful here. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Brunson. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. This is where he wants to be. Hall's eye now closing up. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Brunson. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Bill Brunson's got his hand looking for a guillotine chip. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up. Oh! Well, he just hasn't been efficient with his strikes here tonight. There's another swing and a miss. And at this point, if he can't preserve some stamina moving forward, this is going to end up being an awfully long night. 
Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Way to hide that leg kick. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Well, he's not a one-legged fighter yet, but that calf starting to show some signs of bruise. If he takes many more, he's not gonna be able to move. He does a phenomenal job of actually attacking the takedowns off of his punches. Oh, he gets back up again. Oh! Oh, lands a hip toss now. In the half guard. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Paul's in half guard now. Ten seconds to go. Waning seconds of this fight. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Come, come. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, 30-27, 29-28. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Derek the Bruce!